Amy here from Here for Fitness. I'm here to take you through a bit of a um, simple kettlebell workout. It's about 15 minutes long. And um, before we get going, we'll have a bit of a simple warm up. We'll start with a bit of a jog. Right, today we've got five exercises, and what we're going to do is we're going to repeat it three times. We've got 40 seconds on, 40 seconds off. And um, so it's quite a simple workout where we'll get your heart rate working, get the legs working, get the arms, the shoulders. Keep you all active while you're in isolation. Hope you're all staying at home. Right, if we bring our arms up, get the shoulders nice and warm. That's it, keeping it going. If any of you like me, I'm losing my mind already. This is Monday, so theoretically only the first day of isolation that I'm recording this video. I'm already feeling quite trapped. That's it, right, we'll come into windmills, getting the shoulders nice and warm. That's it, keeping it nice and simple. That's it. Next, we're going to go into squats in three, two, one. Just taking it down into a squat. That's it, warming the legs up before we go into our first movement. Our first movement is a kettlebell goblet squat today. I'll show you what that is before we get started. That's it, in three, two, and one. Perfect. Right, so we're going to get your kettlebell today. We're going to hold it in front of you. You're going to keep your core nice and tight. And what we're going to do is if you're sitting on a chair, bend at the hips, bend at the knees. And we're going to sit back down into that chair and then sit it back up, squeezing the glutes at the top, sitting back down, standing up. What we want to see, back nice and straight, core engaged, sitting it down, driving it up. What we don't want is this, where you're coming forward, keeping the back sitting into those heels, driving up through the heels. Right, get this timer started. We've got 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and then I'll show you the next move. Three, two, one, off we go. That's it. Driving it all the way up. Keeping it going. That's it. Keeping that core engaged. Keeping it pushing. That's it, we've got this. That's it, keep it pushing. Halfway, 20 seconds to go now. That's it, keep it going. Leave you there. Keep it pushing. 10 more seconds. That's it, keep it squatting. All the way down, fight through the lactic acid buildup. In three, two, and one. Perfect, 20 seconds rest. Our next one. We're going into the kettlebell swing. Coming up, bring the kettlebell just to face height. Come to the side, pivoting in the hips, coming up, keeping the core in nice and tight. Off we go. That's it. Keeping that core in really tight. Your back shouldn't move. Pivoting at the hips, keeping the shoulders pulled back. Let the glutes, the legs do the work. Using the arms, keep the core in really tight. That's it, keep it going. Put it over halfway. That's it, 10 more seconds to go. Keep it going, get those last few in. That's it, keep it pushing. One, stopping it there. Right, 20 seconds, our next one. Keeping the core really, really tight, slight bend of the knees. We're going to be bringing the elbows up into an upright row, and then back down. Coming up, and then back down. In three, two, one, up we go. That's it, keeping the core in really tight. That's it. Just bringing it up to shoulder height. That's it, keeping it going. Keeping it pushing, keep the core engaged. That's it. The shoulders are start to feel it now. Feel that burn. Just keep it pushing. 15 to go. That's it, guys. Okay, there's the last few in. 10 seconds. That's it, keeping it going. Three, two, one, and stop it there. Last two movements, we're going into the kettlebell row. So we're just rolling it in towards our hips.
hips, driving the elbow behind us, keeping the core in really tight. So come to the side, keeping the core in tight, driving it in, all the way down, driving it in, off we go. That's it. Keeping it going, keeping it pushing. Keep that core in really tight, driving that elbow all the way back. Open to the front, so I can see the stopwatch. That's it, keeping it going, keeping it pushing. That's it, we've got this. Squeeze in the back, keep that core in really tight. Ten more seconds. That's it, nearly there. Nearly there, keep it going. Three, two, one, dropping it down. We're going to do the same on the opposite arm. 20 seconds rest. Keep that core engaged, keep those shoulders pulled back. Right, 10 more seconds. If you need to drink the water, grab it now. Remember, it's important to keep hydrated throughout. In three, two, one, up we go. That's it. Keeping it going. Driving it all the way up, squeezing that back. That's it. Keep it pushing. That's it, keeping it going. Halfway now. That's it, we've got this. Keep it going. Ten more seconds. That's it, eight more seconds to go. That's it, don't give up, keep it going. Driving it all the way back. One, drop it there. End of round one, going back to the goblet squats, round two. We've got 12 more seconds, picking the back up into that goblet, so holding it in front of us, keeping that core, core engaged and sitting back into the heels. Getting set up, two, one, off we go. Driving it up. That's it, keep it going, keep it pushing, keep that core engaged, sitting back into those heels. That's it, keep it going. That's it, keep it pushing. Amazing work. 15 to go now. That's it, fight through the burn. Nearly there. Keep it going. In five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping it down. 20 seconds recovery. Like me, feeling a bit out of breath now. I've got a slight cold today. Not coronavirus, I've had a cold for weeks now. Don't worry. I'm okay. We've got three, two, one, and kettlebell swings. Back into those kettlebell swings. That's it, keep it going. Keeping those shoulders pulled back. Core in tight. Squeezing those glutes at the top. That's it. Keep it pushing. Halfway. That's it. Keep it driving. Keep it going. Need it there. Keep it pushing. That's it. Eight seconds to go now. That's it. Need it there. Two, one, and drop it there. Twenty seconds recovery. Grab a drink if you need to. Going to those upright rows next. Remember keeping that core in really tight. Eight seconds. Keep up the kettlebell, get, get set. Two, one, off we go. That's it. Keep it going, keep it pushing. Keep those cores in really tight. That's it. We've got this. That's it. 20 seconds down, halfway now. Keep that core in. Fight through that burn. Keep it pushing. That's it, we've got this. 10 more seconds. That's it, keeping it going. In three, two, one, drop it there. Right, our next one, we're back into those rows on each arm. We've got 15 seconds recovery. Get a drink if you need it. 
We're back to it. We've got one more round after this. All right, getting set up. In three, two, one. Up we go. That's it. 40 seconds worth. We've got this. Keep it going. Keep it pushing. Driving that elbow in. That's it. Squeeze in the back. Amazing work everyone, keep it pushing, we've got this, that's it, keeping it going, 10 more seconds, nearly there, in, 3, 2, 1, drop it down, 20 seconds and we're going on to the opposite arm, we've got one more round to go, we've got this, 10 more seconds, then we're back to it. Right, getting that, that kettlebell, get set up. Opposite side, two, one. Off we go. Keeping that core in really tight. That's it. We got this. Keep it going. Keep it pushing. That's it, amazing work. Halfway. That's it, you got this last little push. 10 more seconds, keep it going, keep it pushing. Drive that kettlebell back. In three, two, one, drop it down. One more round to go, we're going back into those goblet squats. We've got this, heart rate's getting up. And as you all know me, I like a bit of a challenge. We've got a bit of a 60 second challenge at the end. Right, end of the kettlebell. Two, one, off we go. Goblet squats. That's it, keep it going. Squeezing at the top. That's it, amazing work. Keep it pushing. Squeezing the glutes. Keeping that core in really tight. We're over halfway now. This is the final round. Keep it pushing. That's it. 10 seconds. Keep it going. In three, two, one. Dropping it down. 20 seconds. Then we're back into those kettlebell swings. We got this. The last little push. Right, getting the kettlebell. Setting ourselves up. In. Three, two, one. Off we go. That's it, pivoting at the hips, squeezing the glutes, keeping the shoulders pulled back, core in tight. That's it. See how many you can get in. We've got 25 seconds to go. Keep it going. Keep it pushing. That's it, halfway. 20 more seconds. That's it. The last lot of kettlebell swings. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Dropping it down. Believe it or not, we don't have a cold at home, is that we never into the gym? I think I'm allergic to it. 10 seconds to go. We got this. Picking the kettlebell back up, we're into those upright rows. In three, two, one. That's it. Drive it up, working those shoulders. Keep it going. Keep it pushing. That's it. Amazing work. Keeping it going. Driving that kettlebell all the way up. That's it, amazing work. Over halfway now. Driving that kettlebell. That's it, keep that core in really tight. That's it, nearly there now. Keep it going. We've got six seconds. Get those last few in. One, dropping it down. Amazing work, we're those last two rows. And then I'll let you know what the 60 second finisher is. 
If you come to my classes and you know me, you'll probably know already what it's going to be. But see if you're right. Let me know. Come on, over the video if you've got it right. Three, two, one, up we go. That's it, driving it all the way in. Keep it pushing. That's it. Keep it going. Keep that core in really tight. Halfway now. That's it, we got this. Driving it in. That's it, all the way back. Keep it going. 10 seconds to go now. That's it, we got this. Keep it going. Three, two, and one. Drop it down. 20 seconds, one more to go. And then we're on to that finisher. Right. 10 seconds. Eight seconds if you get the get a bell. Let's get set up. In three, two, one. Off you go. That's it, driving it in. Perfect. Keep it going. Keep that core in tight. Driving that kettlebell all the way back. Squeeze in the back. Keep it pushing. Halfway now. We got this. Keep it going. Amazing work. Keep that core in really tight. That's it. We got this. Ten more seconds. That's it, keeping it going, keep it pushing. Two and one, smashed it. Right, get a bit of water. I've set my tabata home until 60 seconds. Right. So set up, one cycle. Right. We'll be doing 60 seconds, bit of a challenge. You want to get in as many as you can in 60 seconds. What we'll be doing, going down to the floor, chest to floor, coming up, jumping up, come to the side again, chest to floor, burpees, coming down to the floor and jumping up. Can't do chest to floor burpees, you can just come into normal burpees or you have got the regress one, stepping it back, stepping it forward and jumping at the top. If you can do chest to floor, do chest to floor. Right. Ready. Get the book. Get the timer prepared. 60 seconds. As many as you can do, and then we're done for today. In three, two, one, off we go. Come on, we got 